Hi, welcome to NetSet OS. Today we will discuss Pearson correlation coefficient. Before starting a topic, let's go to a beautiful survey on Stack Overflow. Here, when I go to technology, let's zoom it. Here we can see a correlated technologies. Now, if I dive in, there are numerous technologies like Python, Java, JavaScript defined over here in this site, where it is showing the correlation between Python with its features, PyCharm, Zango, Flask, Jupyter, Pandas, TensorFlow, Torch, PyTorch. On the other hand, Java is correlated with Eclipse, Firebase, Android. Now, if I say whether Eclipse is correlated with Python, no, it's not because it is related to Java here. With this, we have C, C++ as they are correlated with each other. So I can say the correlation coefficient between Eclipse and Python will be nearby to zero as it is weakly correlated. Hence, this is the best example for defining correlation. Now going back to our topic, As in the last video, we discussed about covariance, correlation and their formulation. So there we came up with variance which was equal to summation xi minus mu x square. And if we talk about covariance which was the relationship between two variables. But instead of two variables, if I take one variable, it will be the same. Xi minus mu x square. Hence, we can say covariance of single variable related with itself will be, will be same as variance. So covariance was needed to find out the relationship between variables which was denoted by xi minus mu x, yi minus mu y. This all we calculated in our last video and we have also seen this with the help of data set where we took years of experience and salary, years of experience as x and salary as y variable if x increases y also increased as we see practically if years of experiences are increasing automatically salary will also increment so with this we calculated covariance which we got as positive and we have also seen with years of experience as x and salary as y variable so it was quite increasing and it was having the positive trend. On the other hand, we have seen horsepower with fuel, its relationship as horsepower was increasing, the fuel consumption was decrementing. There we got covariance in negative and it was having the graph as following the negative trend. And the third we have seen when X and Y had no relationship with each other. Hence, it was following no trend. But when coming to example of height and weight, we have seen with height inches and weight pounds, the covariance we got as 78.33. And when we calculated covariance in terms of height in miles and weight in terms of turns, the covariance got too much low. It was around 0.6 times 0 then 61. And when we calculated covariance in terms of millimeter and weight in grams, it was quite high. 
सो माई क्वेश्चन वॉज वेन वी हैव सो मच हाई वैल्यू इज इट स्ट्रॉन्गली को रिलेटेड और वेन वी हैव द स्मॉलेस्ट वैल्यू इट इज वीकली रिलेटेड बट विद दिस वी कॉन्ट मेजर इट वी शुड हैव अ यूनिट विथ विच वी कैन मेजर इक्वली सो वी टुक दी हेल्प ऑफ को रिलेशन विच इज को रिलेशन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई इज को वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई अपॉन सिग्मा एक्स एंड सिग्मा वाई एंड इफ वी ओपन दिस वी विल गेट एक्स आई माइनस म्यू एक्स अपॉन सिग्मा एक्स एंड वाई आई माइनस म्यू वाई अपॉन सिग्मा वाई इफ वी लुक इट केयरफुली दिस इज अ सेड एंड इफ वी जॉइन दम इट विल बी जेड स्क्वायर एंड जेड इज अ स्टैंडर्डाइज फॉर्म ऑफ को वेरियंस सो को रिलेशन इज डिनोटेड बाय रो इट इज अ बायरेट एनालिसिस एंड इट इज अ मेजर ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ लीनियर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एक्स एंड वाई नाउ इफ वी सी इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज इट्स वैल्यू शुड लाई बिटवीन माइनस वन एंड वन Let's see this with the help of data set. Here we have taken height and weight, height in inches, weight in pounds, and here I have calculated correlation with respect to height and weight, where we had x i, which is for individual. Then we calculated its mean, and after that we calculated its standard deviation. here we had this heights for individual and with this height i have calculated its mean by plus of by addition of all the heights upon number of people for whom we have calculated height hence 78.8 is our mean similarly we did for weight also then we need to calculate actual minus mean upon standard deviation for height and weight see 72 minus 78.8 upon 3.54 the standard deviation same thing we did for weight and then we have multiplied both height and weight so as to get correlation so if you see it carefully these values are lying between minus 1 and 1 so the first property of a correlation coefficient its value should be between minus 1 and 1 if its value is 1 then all points falls directly on their line i'll show you pictorially and if its value is closer to 1 or minus 1 it indicates a strong linear relationship between x and y and if it is closer to 0 it will have the weaker relationship between x and y let's see here we have rho equal to minus 1 here if you can see these points are perfectly on a line this is x and y so here it indicate a strong linear relationship between x and y similarly with rho is equal to plus 1 it is going in up direction and all the points lying on this line but if it is closer to minus 1 or 1 it is somewhat nearby to line not on that line and when we have rho is equal to 0 it will be all the way around it shows the weaker relationship between x and y same thing happens here when it is same thing happens here when all points will be on this line it will look like this when it is closer to 1 it will be around the line when it is going closer to 0 it will somewhat be deviating from this line and when rho is equal to 0 it will be all the way around where it shows a weaker relationship between two variables 
same thing when it goes closer to minus 1 it will not be as weaker as 0 but it will not be on minus 1 so we can say minus 1 and 1 will have perfect relationship between two variables now if we talk about limitations of Pearson coefficient it is not a two-way process if we take an example of basketball player we know basketball player have a good height or rather I can say if he plays basketball or he is a basketball player there are more chances that he has a good height but we cannot say every good heighted person can play basketball right there is no two-way process which means a basketball player is always having a good height but good heighted person is playing basketball perfectly that is not mandatory so here Pearson coefficient fails now the other limitation is the correlation fits to a point of time when we are measuring it but when it comes to time series analysis for example imagine we are investigating the correlation of height of two boys um, from their birthhood let's say from 0 to 18 years we are measuring their heights without any failure naturally each year person's height will increase year by year so correlation is not perfectly useful in time series analysis since it does not account for correlation trends over time.